Hi team, how's it going? Um, I thought so many people on Discord keep asking us the same question. How do we import a custom Twilio number onto our retail dashboard? So I thought, why don't we go ahead and make a quick video on the same? So as you can see, it's actually pretty simple. Retail's laid out everything in their documentation. I'm just going to walk you through the, all, all the steps one by one. First up, I'm going to go to Retail's custom telephony dashboard. Um, it's actually on their documentation page. This is the exact page. If you scroll down, you, you will be seeing two different methods in which you can import a custom Twilio number, which is on your Twilio account and connected to your retail dashboard into one of these existing phone, phone agents. So the first method is if you set up an elastic SIP trunking, which is also the recommended method. The second one is if you set up a non-elastic SIP trunking. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the first method. All right, so let's get cracking. First up, I'm just gonna go over to my um, Twilio account. On the top, you will see this search icon. Um, in the search bar, just go ahead and type SIP trunk. Once you do that, you will see a list of options pop up, right? The one that you're interested in is the first one saying elastic SIP trunks. When you click on it, you will come to the same page that you can see on my screen. Once you have the elastic SIP trunks open, find this blue button on the top right corner which says create new SIP trunk, tap on it, and go ahead and create a new SIP trunk. For this video, I'm going to call mine retail YT, retail underscore YT. Go ahead and cre uh, create it using this blue button. It's just going to spin up a few seconds. And the next thing you know is that your trunk is initiated. As you can see on the top, it has a friendly name. Now on this page, two things we need to be very careful of. Um, just make sure the call transfer is enabled and make sure you also tick, tick this checkbox called enable PSTN transfer. Once both these things are dialed in, click on this blue button on the bottom left, which says save. Wait for the confirmation message on the top saying you have successfully updated your trunk. Next thing, on the left menu, you've got these um, three other options, termination, origination, and numbers. I'm gonna tap the second one called termination. Inside termination, I need to give um, a name to my termination SIP URI. In this case, I'm gonna keep it fairly simple. Um, call it something like retail support network hyphen two, right? Check for availability and then slide down. Right at the bottom, you will see the save button. Just go ahead and tap save. Okay, sorry. Just tells me one more thing that I need to do. I need to care, take care of my credentials. So every time I add a trunk, and set up my termination URI, I also need to make sure the authentication is in place. As, as you can see, Twilio prompted me to take care of my credentials. So just go ahead and tap on this blue icon. Um, give your credentials a friendly name. I'm gonna call mine Minecraft Crit Credentials One. And then I need to give this a username. So um, the way Twilio works with credentials is that it doesn't let you put any weak passwords or usernames. So I'm going to have to put in a password that is at least 12 characters long, has one uppercase, one lowercase letter, has a special symbol, and also has a digit. So I'll just put in my username and my password. Go ahead and create this set of credentials. Awesome. Now you can see it gives you a message saying you've successfully created your credentials, which is awesome. Now I need to go ahead and save. Okay. The, you can see this message on the top saying you have successfully updated your SIP trunk, which is great news. Third thing I'm going to have to do is tap on this button called origination on the left. Once you click on origination, it's going to ask you to create an like, origination URI. So just tap on this button. Uh, it's asking you to put in an origination SIP URI, put a priority, put a weight. I'm not going to mess up with the weight or the priority. Um, in order to find the SIP URI, head over to the documentation, um, find this did you know box over here. It's got the exact SIP address for you. Just copy this over and paste it right inside your Twilio. Once that is done, click on the Add button on the bottom right, and that's it. Um, you can now go ahead and save this thing as well. Also, I think it's, that's already been added. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on Numbers. That's my last option on the left menu. Once I tap on Numbers, I can see all the numbers that have been put into this SIP trunk. Um, in order to add a number, find this blue button on the top right which says Add a Number tap on it, it's going to give you three options. Select the first one which says add an existing number and then choose a number from this list. I'm just going to choose the first one over here. Go ahead and tap on add selected. Next thing you know, that number is now being registered over here. So what is it that I'm going to do now? I'm just going to copy this number over, head over to my retail dashboard. 
um, just go to phone numbers. Um, I'm just going to delete this number so that I can show you how this process is done from scratch. Now, as you can see, I have no numbers, right? I'm just going to get this new number that I've um, that I bought on my Twilio and I'm now importing into my retail dashboard. Click on the plus icon on the top left. Select the option to connect your number through SIP trunking. Paste the number in the first text field on the top. Make sure you paste the whole number along with the plus symbol, along with the country code. The next thing it asks you is to put in the termination URI. So just head over back to Twilio, go to the termination tab on the left, find out the termination URI that you had put in. I had put in something like retail, Python, support, network two. Make sure the .pst in Twilio.com is also copied over. Once you've copied everything over, bring it over to retail dashboard, paste this in. Make sure there are no spaces or any um, unexpected characters anywhere. Um, next thing, I'm going to have to put in my credentials. Remember my credentials, um, I've just saved mine. So mine is my underscore username. One, two, three. That's my username. And it's also my password. Just put those in and click save. Just give it a few seconds. Um, Retail is going to load. And the next thing you know is that when the screen pops up, you will see the number that you imported on the left. So that's my number imported over here. I can now go ahead and assign an inbound agent and an outbound agent to this. And yeah, now you've successfully um, taken a number which was on your Twilio, had nothing to do with retail, and you successfully set up an elastic SIP trunk and port that number over to Twilio. Sorry, port, port it over to retail. So I think those are the steps that if you go through um, with, with me in this video, you'll be able to import as many numbers as you like. And now you can start dialing and, and make sure that everything is in place. Um, in the next video, I'm going to call the second method. Until then, have a good one.